And reducing or stopping alcohol altogether is probably one of the like best supplements you can take if you can think of it that way. Supplements and things can become quite expensive, but it costs nothing. In fact, you'll save money if you can get into your head. Okay, if I can work towards maybe going, I'll see how I go a month off alcohol. Does that make me feel better? I'll see if I go, go two months off. I'll look for alternatives that I can enjoy and still maintain a social life and all of those things. Give yourself that that goal kindly and see how you feel. It's one of the best things that the evidence says you can do. Mm. I'm sober. So I've been sober for a really long time, but for listeners, I know there are a lot of women that say as they get older, um, they can't handle the alcohol or it makes them feel worse or um, it shows up differently than it did when you know, you were much younger. So what's ha- what does the alcohol do? Does it intensify anxiety? I mean, I, I did used to drink and when I did drink in my twenties and stuff, it definitely intensified anxiety, but is that similar to what's happening in the years post-menopause? I mean, I'm going to really scare people off alcohol if I go down this path too much. And I just want to preface this by saying that, you know, it's never all or nothing. And the anxious mind always wants to latch onto this kind of information. Like, you know, we start going down the realm of toxins in the environment and plastics. Mm. and we, we can freak ourselves out because it's everywhere and we can't escape it. All we can do is be informed by the information and make different choices to do our best that we can. With alcohol, it's kind of coming in our body from so many angles. As you were saying that, I'm like, how do I cover this question? Because it's often increasing or dysregulating our levels of inflammation in our body. And that is a whole element to some of the symptoms around perimenopause and menopause. Um, It is putting a lot of burden on our liver and our liver does the beautiful job of detoxifying particular hormones as well as alcohol from our body so that we're not getting imbalances happening. So if we're drinking alcohol, there's that impact that's happening on the liver It's also influencing our gut microbiome. You think when you have a cut and you've hurt yourself, you're going to, if you don't have anything else available, you often are going to use an alcohol swab to disinfect the wound because you want to kill bacteria. There's all this bacteria in our gut and we're sloshing it down with alcohol. It's killing off your good bacteria when we drink, especially if we're drinking frequently. There'll always be those anomaly people who can just like, drown themselves in alcohol every single day and they seem to live to a hundred and mm-hmm. you know can also chain smoke and all of that that's just life some people do have a greater level of resilience in one way or another but I mean we can question that person's quality of life as well and certainly it will create that inflammation and then of course we get the rebound effect with things anxi- uh, with alcohol where the next day we're, we're often going to feel quite good when we have it initially it's that Ah, oh, I feel relaxed. I've just like had a stressful day and I'm going to chill out with a glass of wine, but we'll feel the effects of it later. Uh, the next day, often we'll have that hangover where we have anxiety and you'll notice it even with one or two drinks, uh, especially as we do get older and we notice that we're more sensitive to these things. The other thing it impacts is our sleep quality. So it means we're getting lighter sleep. And during those hormonal changes, you don't need more of that. So it's kind of like if we take the alcohol out of the equation, we're removing this huge burden to all these beautiful systems in your body working really well and just allowing your body to function at its best. Like any symptom, if you are experiencing a symptom that's unpleasant and uncomfortable, it's your body communicating to you, hey, come look after me we can do this better. And often there are many changes we can make. And we're often really glad that we made the changes in the long run. Yeah. We usually feel better after making these shifts. You know, I've never regretted becoming sober. So, and that's almost eight years. So, you know, there's a lot of freedom in those shifts. 